session of uh, our lecture 1 on definition and examples of rings now in this lecture we shall continue some more examples to discuss some more examples of, of uh, ring rational numbers so now we are going to discuss about rational numbers with again usual addition and multiplication whether it forms a uh, ring or not and we can see easily check these uh, axioms closure it is because it is usual addition and uh, multiplication as in the earlier two examples it is addition is closed addition of two rational number is again a rational number uh, it is commutative uh, addition usually is uh, associative identity x is zero is a rational number and uh, rational number uh, we uh, usually denote by q number of uh, this type p upon q where p q are integers and q is not equal to zero so this is the set of uh, rational numbers so uh, we know that the inverse exists for uh, rational numbers uh, say uh, because if uh, a is rational negative a is also rational and therefore the additive inverse exists uh, it is uh, close for product multiplication multiplication of two rational numbers is again a rational number and usual uh, multiplication is associative usual multiplication is distributive over addition so thus all these laws holds eight laws holds and therefore it is a ring again the next additional uh, property for ring whether unit element exists yes one is rational number and unit element exists and product is uh, commutative therefore this is a commutative ring with unit as like a set of integers so then this is a commutative ring. it is a commutative ring ring with unit one more additional property for this uh, rational uh, Num set of rational numbers is uh, with, uh, satisfied with uh, plus and dot or with respect to dot only that is multiplicative inverse for non zero elements also exist and uh, also multiplicative inverse exist for non zero elements this is additional uh, property and that type of uh, ring uh, we will study and define further is known as field multiplicative inverse exists for non zero elements non zero rational numbers so if uh, p by q is a rational number then its multiplicative inverse so we know it is uh, if it q upon p because their product is 1 their product is 1 and therefore these are multiplicative inverses of each other this exists for all non zero rational numbers and that is additional property so it is a ring commutative ring with unity in which multiplicative inverse exists for non zero elements so that type of uh, ring is uh, known as uh, field So uh, similar to that, uh, we will uh, have as a set of complex numbers or real numbers. Before that, set of real numbers also forms a ring, and set of complex numbers also forms a ring with usual addition and uh, multiplication. Let's see, so this will be our next example. Uh, the set of set of real numbers with 
with usual plus and dot multiplication addition and multiplication forms form say uh, it is a commutative ring with unit element Forms are easy commutative. Also, this property holds. That means uh, multiplicative inverse exists for non-zero element, and uh, that is again an example of a uh, field. Also, we have the set of uh, real uh, instead of real number, we may consider complex number. Set of complex numbers. The set of complex numbers C. The set of complex numbers uh, which may be written as uh, A plus uh, IB. AB are real numbers and I is under root minus 1. So, this is the uh, set of complex numbers. It forms uh, a ring. Is a ring. Is a ring. Again, this uh, ring is a ring with unity. It is a it is commutative ring, and uh, also multiplicative inverse exists for non-zero elements. It is a commutative ring. With unity and also every non-zero complex number has multiplicative inverse here also every non-zero real number has uh, multiplicative inverse and this property holds For uh, both real numbers and complex numbers, uh, how to verify this is a uh, ring? See, for uh, we know the addition of uh, complex numbers. How to define the addition is a ring? Uh, we have written ring with unity. Complex numbers uh, C uh, with plus and dot, uh, which is uh, plus is addition of complex numbers dot is multiplication of complex numbers so for uh, addition defined as like this see we know addition of complex numbers a plus ib plus c plus id is equal to a plus c plus i into b plus b this is the addition operation and secondly we have a plus IB dot C plus IB. Complex number is of uh, this form, which is ha having two parts, real and imaginary part. I is imaginary part, or I is imaginary number, square root of 1, or I square is equal to minus 1. And uh, this is defined as, see, uh, the product AC minus B plus I into bracket uh, B into C that is B C and then A plus A. This is the multiplication defined. Now you see the uh, the addition of two complex number is again a complex number which has uh, two or uh, two parts real and imaginary part. It is of the same type A plus I. Instead of A, it is A plus C. And this is a real number. So B plus B is also real number. A, B, C, D are all uh, real numbers here. And therefore, this is a complex number. Closure property is satisfied. Now, uh, commutativity, see, this, uh, if you uh, uh, interchange the now order or change the order for addition, then it is uh, satisfied because it is usual addition for real numbers. So, it commutative uh, property holds. And the usual addition or addition of complex numbers is also associated. What is identity for plus? See, 
identity is zero and uh, uh, that element is zero plus i into zero or simply zero complex number zero is a complex number can be written in this form and that is identity power plus inverse power plus it is easy so a plus uh, i b its negative is that is minus a minus i and this results by this addition 0 plus i into 0 which is 0 so these are uh, inverse exist for plus closure the product of two complex number is again a complex number and therefore closure property is satisfied associative property also holds and this uh, distributive laws left distributive right distributive laws also hold we can uh, uh, check by according to these two definitions and uh, so uh, in addition to that multiplicative inverse also exists for complex numbers uh, for example if you consider a plus i b is uh, an element that is uh, in complex number in c for a plus i b belongs to c now we may consider the element there exists then a Ma, uh, minus i b or that is a conjugate number and we can have a divided by see this uh, is a complex number for multiplicative inverse we have non-zero it must be non-zero and then uh, a plus i b is not equal to zero means a is not zero b is not zero or a square plus b square is not equal to zero then we have a divided by a square plus b square minus i b divided by a square plus b square so this is non zero therefore this is a complex number and that number belongs to c number of this form a plus i this is the real part this is the imaginary part now what is product of these two numbers we can check a plus i b into a divided by dot a square plus b square minus b divided by a square plus b square now product uh, can be checked according to this definition a c minus b d that is uh, a into c the product of these two that is a square a square divided by a square plus b square and uh, minus b so negative of this that becomes positive so plus b into b b square divided by a square plus b square so this is uh, a real part you see according to this we have to multiply or we can check it by usual way and plus what is i into bracket bc bc means uh, this uh, product of these two elements so this product of this and that is a b divided by a square plus b square and plus a d a into d that is uh, this element a into this that is a b uh, that is negative a minus a b divided by a square plus b square and you see this is zero so and what about this a square plus b square divided by a square plus b square that is 1 1 plus i into 0 or that is 1 and thus the product of uh, these two results as 1 identity and therefore uh, every non-zero element every non-zero complex number has multiplicative numbers and this is also an example of a field and thus uh, this set of complex numbers is a commutative ring with unity in which every non-zero element has multiplicative inverse or which is an example of field. So field is uh, a special type of ring which has three properties commutative uh, with unit element and in which every non-zero element has multiplicative inverse. So the uh, C is 
set of complex numbers c plus dot is a commutative ring with unity in which every non zero element has multiplicative inverse and thus uh, we have studied uh, three examples here rational number real number complex number ring with usual addition and uh, multiplication and that uh, forms a commutative ring with unity in which every non zero element has multiplicative inverse so that defines a field so this we have seen as uh, examples of field a commutative ring or uh, this uh, we must have at least two elements with a or a, a ring uh, with at least two elements which is we can say which is commutative has unit element and every non zero element has multiplicative inverse is called uh, a, a field or you can uh, define like this field is a ring field is a ring uh, with at least two elements uh, and also and which is at least two elements and which is commutative has unit element and in which every non zero element has multiplicative inverse so that is definition for field and we have seen example also of a field thus in this lecture we have defined ring uh, which has these eight uh, necessary uh, laws or axioms and then uh, a ring uh, which is a ring with unity uh, commutative ring and also a ring in which every non zero element has multiplicative inverses and examples of this type we have uh, studied so remaining part we shall continue in our next lecture thank you